H from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. H is the eighth letter in the ISO Basic Latin Alphabet. Its name in English is H, plural H's, or regionally H. Section 1. History. The original Semitic letter Heth most likely represented the voiceless pharyngeal fricative. The form of this letter probably stood for a fence or posts. The Greek eta, H, in archaic Greek alphabets, still represented h. Later on, it became to represent a long vowel, e. In this context, the letter eta is also known as heta to underline this fact. Thus, in the old italic alphabets, the letter heta of the Euboean alphabet was adopted with its original sound value, h. While Etruscan and Latin had h as a phoneme, almost all Romance languages lost the sound. Romanian later reborrowed the h phoneme from its neighboring Slavic languages, and Spanish developed a secondary h from f before losing it again. Various Spanish dialects have developed h as an allophone of s or h in most Spanish-speaking countries, and various dialects of Portuguese use it as an allophone of r. H is also used in many spelling systems in digraphs and trigraphs, such as ch, which represents ch in Spanish, Galatian, Old Portuguese and English, sh in French and Modern Portuguese, k in Italian, French, and English, h in German, Czech, Polish, Slovak, one native word of English and a few loanwords into English, and h in German. Section 2. Name in English. For most English speakers, the name of the letter is pronounced as h and spelled a-i-t-c-h, or occasionally E-I-T-C-H. The pronunciation H in the associated spelling H-A-I-T-C-H is often considered to be H-adding and is considered non-standard in England. It is, however, a standard feature of Hiberno-English, as well as scattered varieties of Edinburgh, England, and Welsh English, and in Australia and Nova Scotia. The perceived name of the letter affects the choice of the indefinite article before initialisms beginning with H. For example, an H-bomb versus a H-bomb. The pronunciation H may be a hypercorrection formed by analogy with the names of other letters of the alphabet, most of which include the sound they represent. The H pronunciation of H has spread in England, being used by approximately 24% of English people born since 1982, and polls continue to show this pronunciation becoming more common among younger native speakers. Despite this increasing number, the pronunciation without the h sound is considered to be standard in England, although the pronunciation with h is attested to be a legitimate variant. Authorities disagree about the history of the letter's name. The Oxford English Dictionary says that the original name of the letter was aha in Latin. This became aka in vulgar Latin, passed into English via Old French ach, and by Middle English was pronounced ach. The American Heritage Dictionary of the English Language derives it from French ash from Latin atza or eek. And Natalie Lieberman suggests a conflation of two obsolete orderings of the alphabet, one with H immediately followed by K, and the other without any K, reciting the former's dot 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 H K L dot 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 as ha K L, when reinterpreted for the latter dot 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 H L dot dot dot, would imply a pronunciation of ha, ka, for h. Section 3. Use in Writing Systems. Section 3.1. English. In English, h occurs as a single-letter grapheme, being either silent or representing the voiceless glottal fricative h, and in various digraphs such as ch pronounced ch, sh, k, or h. GH pronounced silent g, k, p, or f, PH pronounced f, RH pronounced r, SH pronounced sh, TH pronounced f or v, WH pronounced w or h. The letter is silent in a syllable rhyme, such as a, om, dahlia, cheetah, poo pooed, as well as in other words, mostly of French origin, such as our, honest, herb in American but not British English, and vehicle in certain varieties of English.
Initial is not often pronounced in the weak form of some function words including had, has, have, he, her, him, his, and in some varieties of English, including most regional dialects of England and Wales, it is often omitted in all words. See H-dropping. It was formerly common for an rather than a to be used as the indefinite article before a word beginning with h in an unstressed syllable, as in an historian, but use of a is now more usual. See English articles at indefinite article. In English, the pronunciation of H as H can be analyzed as a voiceless vowel. That is, when the phoneme H precedes a vowel, H may be realized as the voiceless version of the subsequent vowel. For example, the word hit is realized as it. H is the eighth most frequently used letter in the English language after S, N, I, O, A, T, and E with a frequency of about 4.2% in words. When H is placed after certain other consonants, it modifies their pronunciation in various ways. For example, for CH, GH, PH, SH, and TH. Section 3.2, Other Languages. In the German language, the name of the letter is pronounced HA. Following a vowel, it often silently indicates that the vowel is long, in the word erhuen, meaning heighten, spelled E-R-H-O-Umlaut-H-E-N, the second H is mute for most speakers outside of Switzerland. In 1901, a spelling reform eliminated the silent H in nearly all instances of TH in native German words such as tun, formerly spelled T-H-U-N, meaning to do, or tul, formerly spelled T-H-U-Umlaut-R, meaning door. It has been left unchanged in words derived from Greek, such as theater, spelled T-H-E-A-T-E-R, meaning theater, and thron, spelled T-H-R-O-N, meaning throne, which continue to be spelled with T-H even after the last German spelling reform. In Spanish and Portuguese, H, pronounced H in Spanish, or Aga, or Aga in Portuguese, is a silent letter with no pronunciation, as in hijo, spelled H-I-J-O, meaning son, and ungaru, spelled H-U-acute-N-G-A-R-O, meaning Hungarian. The spelling reflects an earlier pronunciation of the sound H. It is sometimes pronounced with the value H in some regions of Andalusia, Extremadura, Canarias, Cantabria, and the Americas in the beginning of some words. H also appears in the digraph CH, which represents CH in Spanish in northern Portugal, and SH in oral traditions that merged both sounds, the latter originally represented by X instead. For example, in most of the Portuguese language and some Spanish-speaking places, prominently Chile, as well as NH, pronounced ñ, and LH, pronounced Y in Portuguese, whose spelling is inherited from Occitan. In French, the name of the letter is written as A-C-H-E and pronounced ash. The French orthography classifies words that begin with this letter in two ways, one of which can affect the pronunciation, even though it is a silent letter either way. The ash muet, or mute H, is considered as though the letter were not there at all. So, for example, the singular definite article le or la which is elided to L apostrophe before a vowel, elides before ashmuet, followed by a vowel. For example, le plus hébergement, spelled H-E-acute-B-E-R-G-E-M-E-N-T, becomes l'hébergement, L apostrophe H-E-acute-B-E-R-G-E-M-E-N-T, meaning the accommodation. The other kind of H is called H aspiré, or aspirated H, though it is not normally aspirated phonetically, and does not allow elision or liaison. For example, in le uma, spelled H-O-M-A-R-D, meaning the lobster, the article le remains unalighted and may be separated from the noun with a bit of a glottal stop. Most words that begin with an ashmuet come from Latin, like uner, spelled H-O-N-N-E-U-R, or om, spelled H-O-M-M-E, or from Greek through Latin, 
like Iketum, spelled H-E-A-Q-C-A-T-O-M-B-E, whereas most words beginning with an Asche Spiele come from Germanic, like Achong, spelled H-A-R-E-N-G, or non-Indo-European languages, like Achem, spelled H-A-R-E-M, Amak, spelled H-A-M-A-C, or Ariku, spelled H-A-R-I-C-O-T. In some cases, an orthographic H was added to disambiguate the V and semi-vowel V pronunciations before the introduction of the distinction between the letters V and U. Uit, spelled H-U-I-T, from Uit, ultimately from Latin octo, Uiter, spelled H-U-I circumflex T-R-E, from Uiste, ultimately from Greek through Latin Ostrea. In Italian, H has no phonological value. Its most important uses are in the digraphs CH, pronounced K, and GH, pronounced G, as well as to differentiate the spellings of certain short words that are homophones. For example, some present tense forms of the verb avere, meaning to have, such as anno, spelled H-A-N-N-O, meaning they have, versus anno, spelled A-N-N-O, meaning year. And in short interjections, such as o, spelled o-h, or a, spelled e-h-i. Some languages, including Czech, Slovak, Hungarian, and Finnish, use h as a breathy voiced glottal fricative, h, often as an allophone of an otherwise voiceless h in a voiced environment. In Hungarian, the letter has five independent pronunciations, perhaps more than in any other language with an additional three uses as a productive and non-productive member of a digraph. H may represent H, as in the name of the Seke town Hargita, spelled H-A-R-G-I-T-A. Intervocalically, it represents H, as in Tehis, spelled T-E-H-E-Acute-Z. It represents H in the word Doch, spelled D-O-H. It represents H in the word Ichlet, spelled I-H-L-E-T, and is silent in CHE, spelled C-S-E-H. As part of a diphthong, it represents, in archaic spelling, CH, with the letter C, as in the name SECHINYI, spelled S-Z-E-A-Q-C-H-E-A-Q-N-Y-I. It represents, again, with the letter C, CH, in PECH, spelled P-E-C-H. In certain environments, it breaks the palatalization of a consonant as in the name Horti, spelled H-O-R-T-H-Y, without the intervening H, the name would be pronounced Hort. And finally, it acts as a silent component of a diphthong, as in the name Varga, spelled V-A-R-G-H-A. In Ukrainian and Belarusian, when written with the Latin alphabet, H is commonly used for H, which is otherwise written with the Cyrillic letter G. In Irish, H is not considered an independent letter, except for very few non-native words. However, H placed after a consonant is known as shevu, and indicates lenition of that consonant. H began to replace the original form of a shevu, a dot placed above the consonant, after the introduction of typewriters. In most dialects of Polish, both H and the digraph CH always represent H. In Basque, during the 20th century, it was not used in the orthography of the Basque dialects in Spain, but it marked an aspiration in the northeastern dialects. During the standardization of Basque in the 1970s, the compromise was reached that H would be accepted if it were the first consonant in a syllable. Hence, eri, H-E-R-R-I, meaning people, and etori, E-T-O-R-R-I, meaning to come, were accepted instead of eri, E-R-R-I, in Biscayan, and etori, E-T-H-O-R-R-I, in Suletan. Speakers could pronounce the H or not. For the dialects lacking the aspiration, this meant a complication added to the standardized spelling. Section 3.3 .3, Other Systems as a phonetic symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet, or IPA, it is used mainly for the so-called aspirations, fricatives or trills. 
and variations of the plain letter are used to represent two sounds. The lowercase form h represents the voiceless glottal fricative, and the small capital form h represents the voiceless epiglottal fricative or trill. With a bar, minuscule h is used for the voiceless pharyngeal fricative. Specific to the IPA, a hooked h is used for a voiced glottal fricative, and a superscript h is used to represent aspiration. Section 4. Related Characters. Section 4.1. Descendants and Related Characters in the Latin Alphabet. H with Diacritics. H Circumflex. H Charon. H Bar. H Sedia. H with Descender. H Macron. H Underdot. H Overdot. H Diuresis. H Breve. And H with Palatal Hook. IPA-specific symbols related to H. Small capital H, superscript capital H bar, hooked H, superscript H, superscript hooked H, rotated H, and superscript rotated H. Modified letter capital H is used in the Uralic phonetic alphabet. Subscript small h was used in the Uralic phonetic alphabet prior to its formal standardization in 1902. Modified letter small h is used in Indo-European studies. Turned h with fish hook and turned h with fish hook and tail are used in Sino-Tibetanist linguistics. Latin letter where, derived from a ligature of the digraph hv, and used to transliterate the Gothic letter where, which represented the sound wh Capital half H and minuscule half H are Claudian letters, and reversed half H used in Roman inscriptions from the Roman provinces of Gaul. Section 4.2 Ancestors, Siblings, and Descendants in Other Alphabets Semitic letter He, from which the following symbols derive. Greek letter Eta, from which the following symbols derive. Old Italic H, the ancestor of the modern Latin H. Runic letter Haglas, which is probably a descendant of Old Italic H. Cyrillic letter He, which derives from Latin H. And Gothic letter Hal. Section 4.3. Derived signs, symbols, and abbreviations. Italicized H, Planck constant. Italicized H-bar, reduced Planck constant. And Blackboard Bold capital H, used in quaternion notation. Section 5. Computing Codes. Character Information. Unicode Name. Latin capital letter H. Encoded in Unicode as decimal 72 and hex U plus 0048. Encoded in UTF-8 as decimal 72 and hex 48. Encoded in numeric character reference as decimal ampersand hash 72 semicolon and hex ampersand hash x48 semicolon. Encoded in EBCDIC family as decimal 200 and hex C8. Encoded in ASCII as decimal 72 and hex 48. Unicode name. Latin small letter H. Encoded in Unicode as decimal 104 and hex u plus 0068, encoded in UTF-8 as decimal 104 and hex 68, encoded in numeric character reference as decimal ampersand hash 104 semicolon and hex ampersand hash x68 semicolon, encoded in EBCDIC family as decimal 136 and hex 88. Encoded in ASCII as decimal 104 and hex 68. Section 6. Other representations. NATO phonetic. Hotel. Morse code. Signal flag. A flag is shown, split vertically in half, with the left half being solid white and the right half being solid red. Flag semaphore. A person is shown holding two flags in each hand. 
their left arm is directly out to their side with a 90 degree angle from their torso and their right arm lays across their torso. American Manual Alphabet, ASL finger spelling. A hand is shown with its index finger and middle finger pointing outwards with the other fingers tucked. Braille dots, 125 Unified English Braille. A diagram is shown with a three dots vertical by two dots horizontal grid. The top row has only the left dot filled in, the middle row has both dots filled in, and the bottom row has no dots filled in. Section 7. See also. American Sign Language Grammar and List of Hieroglyphs slash H. This sound file and all the text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.01 Ported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0.